Ready to go here live, Tane Davis Gymnasium. Campus of Faulkner University, the men's game. Bruton Parker versus Faulkner. The Eagles, the number seven team in the country. Coming in at 8-0 against the Bruton Parker Barons in at 3-2 overall. Isaiah Brooks misses. Second attempt misses. Ball cleared by Bruton Parker. The starters for the Barons first. Number one, the 6-1 guard out of Conyers, Georgia, Lance Smith. Number two, the 6-4 guard out of Tacoa, Georgia, Kenny Caldwell. Number 10, the 5'11 guard out of Atlanta, Georgia, Zaylin Blue. Number 13, the 6'6 freshman guard out of St. Petersburg, Florida, Ferlin Joseph. And number 24, the 6'8 junior forward out of Dallas, Texas, Demarcus Johnson, Jr. David Turner for the Eagles. For the Eagles from Faulkner University, it's number one, Trace Hill, a senior guard from Hartsell, Alabama. Number three, C.J. Hines, the sophomore guard from Atlanta, Georgia. Number five, Jonathan Garcia, the sophomore guard from Clint, Texas. Number 10, Derek Donegan, the senior forward from Atlanta, Georgia. And finally, Isaiah Brooks, number 11, a senior from Atlanta, Georgia. Ready to the inbound here, the early 2-0 lead for the Eagles of Falk as somebody scored. You saw it. I was it was, it was C.J. Hines on a basket interference. It is so often C.J. Hines. It's not usually on a basket interference. Listen, this is a Bruton Parker team averaging in, in a three and two season so far, averaging 68 points a game, 23 of those per night coming off the hand of Lance Smith. That's a big percentage. That is a big percentage, and Lance Smith's going to be their lead guard. He's made, trying to make the play, good pass inside, unable to finish up under the basket. Offensive rebound and collects it and finishes, does Demarcus Johnson. So Demarcus Johnson. And Johnson, you see his strength there underneath the basket. Donegan underneath off a good pass inside, and he's fouled. So 2-2 two, two the score. Eighteen forty-four left in the opening half. Ball center left side, fed toward the elbow. Drive down to the block, gets it back out of there. That's Caldwell on the ball. Caldwell, a transfer from Tacoa Falls College. Turn around, no good. Rebound put back, no good. Taken down by Isaiah Brooks. Right hand lay in good by C.J. Hines. Hesitation by Hines caused the defender go out to Trace Hill and. Hines sees it and goes right to the basket. There's and, the drive all the way. And there we, see, there we see Lance Smith's game. He wants to get downhill inside, get to, the bat, get to the basket, create as much havoc inside as he can. A foul on that end of the floor. C.J. Hines will go to the free throw line. So Hines to the line. He was fouled by Demarcus Johnson, a transfer from National Park College. One thing to watch for Lance Smith is he can – get a little too ahead of himself, get a little quick, and he can turn the ball over. He averages almost four turnovers a game here from that point, that lead guard spot. We go up and good. 5-4 is the score. C.J. Hines makes the shot. One more look coming. That one good, too. So, Hines... Puts his team up 6-4. Sent up top. Right side jumper through. Knocked down by Zalen Blue. 7-6, Bruton Parker with the lead. Hines on the basketball. Garcia, Hines. Donegan, Hines. Bounces through, back out to Garcia. Eight to shoot. Garcia turns the corner layup off the glass, no good. Garcia comes away with a rebound. Garcia in traffic, no. Rebound cleared by nobody yet. Scrap on the floor, out of bounds. Is 
This is a Bruton Parker team that looks a lot different than we've seen in recent years. Nice feet down to Johnson. He'll go to work. No shot there. Rebound taken down Derek Donigan. Going the other way. Brooks into the lane, left hand good. Leonard Epps, the head coach of this Bruton Parker team in his first season, I believe, for the Barons. Center of her left side. Rebound taken down Trace Hill and a foul on the floor. I think they can get Derek Donigan, they are. Get Donigan. Daniel Garmendia is in. Jonathan Garcia is out. Elijah Jones is in. Derek Donegan is out. So the five-game stretch for the Barons so far to win over Payne College, a loss to Voorhees, a win over William Carey, a win over Blue Mountain, an overtime loss to Coastal Georgia. This ain't – this ain't your older brother's Bruton Parker, but it might be your daddy's Bruton yeah. Parker. Because Bruton Parker used to be a force in NAI basketball, and they very well could be again. And Leonard Epps has got him playing well right now. You're talking about a one-point overtime loss away from being 4-1 and one and 2-0 and oh in league play. Back iron no good, rebound taken down. Trace Hill. C.J. Hines, the drive, through, up, right hand off the glass, and good. 10-7 is the score. Smith in the open floor, into the lane, no good. Rebound kicked out, Garmendi has got it. Good job by Elijah Jones defensively, just taking the space and going straight up. Need to note that Chance Hatcher's in the game for Bruton Parker. It's number 23, senior guard out of Columbus. Hill kicks. Into the corner. Sends it over. The drive through. Right hand, no good. Rebound kicked around. Controlled by Blue. And then stolen. Hines. Boy, this is a frenetic sequence. C.J. Hines. What's he got? C.J. Hines already sitting at eight points. Make it 11. A 1,000 points in the career of C.J. Hines. That one good. Three off the hand of Blue again from the top. That's two threes from him early in this ball game. That one up and good. 15-10 is your score. Drive through, off the glass, no good. Daniel Garmini of the rebound. Again, Jones just takes the space up, makes the shot harder than it, than it has to be and does a good job defensively not picking up a foul. C.J. Hines on the basketball. He'll work. Feed it back out, Daniel Garmini. Left side, Trace Hill. The drive into the body and a foul. That foul is going to go into Marcus Johnson. His second foul. C.J. Hines checks out. Fifteen ten is the score. Inbound to be thrown by Daniel Garmendia. There's Elijah Jones. Jones. Back over to Garcia. Garmendia. Garmendia on the deck with it. Turns the corner into the lane. Right hand won't drop. Elijah Jones clears the board. Goes up no good. Poked out. Keep it on that end. Fifteen ten, thirteen forty five remaining in this half. Thrown up high, Jones collects it. Tried to feed it, lost control. Donegan in a scrap for the ball. Whistle's already blown, and we're going to scrap some more. 
It's going to be that kind of night in time, Davis. C.J. Hines got a breather, and he's going to check back in. Donegan with the foul. That's two for him. Hines will check in for Hill. There's the drive into the lane. Kick out. Hatcher buried. Sends it over right side. Garminia back to Garcia. Now down left side, C.J. Hines. Hines steps out. The drive through. Has it good. stolen. Nice pick. It was. Hatcher lost it. Had an opportunity there. Just couldn't control it on this end. Fifteen, thirteen, thirteen, oh two, going. A remaining here in this half. There's C.J. Hines, twelve fifty-five, and counting. Right side now, Garmendia. Garmendia pulls it for three. No. Rebound tipped out, collected. Coming the other way. Zalen Blue. Lance Smith. Sends it over. Left side. Turns the corner. Sends it up top. Collected. Three. Barry. Jordan Johnson knocks it down. And Bruton Parker back in the lead. David Turner shooting themselves right back into it. Yeah, and that's exactly what's gotten them, gotten them in this ball game. Four of five from three to this point of the ball game for Bruton Parker. Garcia working left. Back out Hines. Has it kicked? Are they calling foul? They are. They are. It's going to be on Lance Smith. First on Lance Smith. That'll get us to the media timeout. This is the Faulkner Sports Network presentation of Faulkner Eagle Basketball. My name is Mikey Peavy. I'm the third generation here at AMP Auto. Looking for a good used pickup truck? We got them. A good used car? We got them. A good SUV? We got them. Come see us at AMP Automotive today. Eleven fifty-three to go here in the opening half. Isaiah Brooks drive downhill, right hand hook off the glass, no good. And there's a foul on Isaiah Brooks. I think they're going to get Jordan Johnson. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, Brooks drew the foul. There we go. I apologize. Let me rephrase that. Brooks was the offended party. Isaiah Brooks, I tell him all the time, he looks like an old man walking around. He runs up and down the floor like this young, virile, incredible athlete, and then he walks more like I do. 
the results of being that young <laughs> barrel yeah. athlete. His is, his is from high impact athleticism for a long period of time. My is, mine is from high impact eating for a long period of time. 16 all with 11.46 to go in the opening half. Either way, impact was made. That's what I see. Yeah. Well, he's going to live a long, healthy life, and I like <laughs> ribs. <laughs> Ball thrown in right side. Left side, Hatcher. Fired ahead to Zaylin Blue. Pulls the three. Back iron, no good. Rebound tipped alive. Taken down, Jonathan Garcia. Nice job by Garcia to get that ball out of his hand yeah, before just, he traveled. Just tip it away. Hines, Brooks, Hines. Hines working left. Hand off Garcia. One point ball game. Pulls it off the bounce. No good. Tipped alive. Trace Hill. Up and under. Yes. It's Trace Hill joined the thousand point club last week in Panama City at the Battle at the Beach. He's now set his sights on the next up on the list, and Trace Hill's going to travel. Because Roll the did. gospel chariot. It's Emmanuel Green who's checked in, the 6'3 senior from Hinesville, Georgia. So Trace Hill next on the list for him as he climbs the all-time scoring leaderboard is one Jake Mitchell. Left-hand layup good. 21-16 is the score. Ball center left side. Cross the timeline, and you're going to get ten seconds. Ten second call. Listen, you want to talk about what this game means. It's December 1, all right? This game means two very different things for, the, for each of these teams. For Faulkner, you are now the hunted. Yes. You, they've been near, at or near the top of this league for four seasons. Great backdoor now. cut. Oh, Hines laid up right hand. Good. And what a feed from Garmendia, too. 23 16, already 13 points for CJ Hines. There's the drive through into the lane. What a take. That was. Nice job, Ferlin Joseph. Using those long legs and getting right into the middle of the paint. Yeah, and the body control yeah. to turn the corner in midair. There's Garmendia, gets it over to Hines. C.J. off. Rebound Hill as he was hit from behind, no call. Hines shakes on the first, now backs it out. Right side, Brooks. Hines, drive through, up, right hand, layup, good. Give him 15, C.J. Hines. Lighten it up early tonight. Into the corner. Three just off. Rebound put back. Ferlin Joseph good. Five-point game will go the other way. 9-27 in Cannon. But as you look at what this game means for these, these teams, Faulkner at or near the top of this league for four seasons now. They are the hunted. They can expect to get every whoa, offensive foul on Isaiah Brooks. They can expect to get everybody's best shot every single night. And you, you went down to battle at the beach. You did what you did. You beat the number 10 team in the country. You beat a receiving votes team. And, and then you beat a team in Missouri Baptist that I think is going to win their league and be in the national tournament. And you only went from nine to seven. That's how yeah. good the NAI is right now. So you can't afford to lose one. Like, losing one may drop you from 7 to 12 or 7 to 15. You, you got to win. Now, for Bruton Parker, Bruton Parker, th listen, this league is, I think, pretty even and pretty open this year. You, you've, you've had Faulkner, Loyola, Stillman, Talladega at the top of this league for a long time. And we don't know what Stillman is yet. They've yeah. already dropped three. Talladega's already dropped three. You, you don't know what those teams are yet. Loyola, uh, almost a complete rebuild. We saw them last week. Garmendia yeah. buries the three. There's a real opportunity for a team like Bruton Parker it really is. to come from nowhere yeah. and take that number two spot and that other bid in this league. So 
and you beat the number seven team in the country in their own gym. That's that's a huge statement. Yeah. Drive through, up, no good. Rebound tipped out, taken down, fights it back up. Does Emmanuel Green. Jonathan Garcia, no good. Rebound taken down by Dane Fisher. Dane Fisher from Rome, Georgia. Sends it over to Fisher. Missed everything there. Rebound Elijah Jones. Hines the drive. Feeds Jones. Has it poked loose by Lance Smith. Good job by Smith coming from that backside de defender and knocking that ball away from Elijah Jones because if he didn't do that, that was an easy two for Jones in the post. I'm going to tell you just early returns here because we're only at the 749 mark of the first half. Garmendia from Hines, buried. Daniel Garmendia, another one. He's got six. Nine-point lead. Reagan and Edmondson in the ballgame now for Faulkner, true freshman, number 22. Stolen by C.J. Hines. Ahead to Trace Hill. Layup, left hand, good. All right, leads 33-22. And right now it's going to look like what I'm saying sounds ridiculous after the last two possessions. Bruton Parker not making anything easy. No, they're I, not. I, and what I'm so impressed with so far is the intensity and effort on both ends of the floor by them. Yeah. What they're doing to get back in transition, both, both ends of the floor. Very impressive. Yeah, and really what this lead is, it's, it's coming from their turnovers. Yeah. Just a little sloppiness with the ball already. 12 nothing is the advantage for points off turnovers for right. Faulkner, and that's really where we're at and, at this point. And here's the thing. You're, you're, you've turned it over six times if you're Bruton Parker. Faulkner's cashed in every yeah. one of those. Yeah. That, it's, that's, you can't win like that. Right. So, but, but every other facet of the game. When they've gotten in the half court, they've oh, made Faulkner yeah. defend, yeah. and they've worked the ball inside. They've done a lot of good things and defensively in the half court. They've been right there. Right. Ball thrown in. That is now back in the ball game. Kenny Caldwell sent ahead. The trap came for Smith. He got rid of it. Jordan Johnson on the ball with 16 to shoot. He'll pull it himself. No good. Tipped alive. What are we doing here? And they'll keep it on this end, I believe. We shall. Ball will be thrown in by Lance Smith. Colwell, baseline. There's a Travel. Walt. I'm going to tell you. When you come to a Faulkner game, there's a couple of options of what you can watch to be entertained. One of them is the game on the floor. The other one is, and I've maintained we need to add to our broadcast, a Scott Sanderson camera. <laughs> now, that cameraman would have to do a lot of work. He would. But watching Scott Sanderson coach when he's really locked in is an incredibly entertaining thing. Hill, downhill, left hand good. 35-22 is the score. Smith sends it over. Three. Yes. Off the hands of Zaylen Blue. Zaylen Blue again. Give him nine points. All of those coming off of threes at about that very same spot on the floor. C.J. Hines working right. Works off the screen. Back to Trace Hill. Squares it up. In and out. Couldn't get any closer to going through without counting. Lance Smith, drive, got it over to Hatcher, kicks it out, downhill, and a block, block call on Daniel Garmendia. So Emmanuel Green, the beneficiary of that call. Jonathan Garcia checks in, Daniel Garmendia checks out. That'll get us to the under six media timeout. This is the Faulkner Sports Network. Connections matter now more than ever. At Guardian Credit Union, we live to make connections, to provide hope, to strengthen our communities, to create stronger financial future. These connections happen in our credit union.
in serving our communities, and even in the small moments of sharing a bench with a neighbor. Connect to your goals. Connect to your community. Connect with Guardian. Back here live, Tyne Davis Gymnasium. Emmanuel Green at the free throw line misses. Trace Hill the rebound. So one and one, or no, rather a two-shot trip, I suppose. No, it was uh, and one. See, no, 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 they caught the foul on the floor. Did they not? What did I miss here? Offensive rebound, Elijah Jones. Yeah, sure, there it is. <laughs> so, um, but I'm telling you. There was the foul on Garmendia. Yes. That was on the floor. I think they got it on the shot. I don't know how. Up. I don't know how. <laughs> I mean, whatever. That's fine. The attack down. Up, right hand. Good. You know what the bad thing is? You'd think real broadcasters would actually be watching the game. In front Listen, of I, wa I watched it, but <laughs> there was at least a two-and-a-half-minute break between yeah. what happened and and hey, the re back to resumption it. of play. And in my house, with four children aged 10 and under, that's at least 39 questions in two and a half minutes. I can't track anything. At this point, I'm standing at the fridge wondering why I'm standing at the fridge. Kicked out into the corner. Brings it back around, does blue. Green with it. Gets it back over to blue. And another travel. Turnovers are piling up for Bruton Parker right now. That's really their only problem. They really are. Eight that they have in in stats, but it really feels like the way the game has gone a lot more than that. And a lot of it's been – And it's been because of how they happened. Yeah, because yeah, how they happened. And then the very fact that Faulkner goes on the other end, they cashed in every single time. And we'll see if it happens here on this eighth turnover. There's Hines. The drive through, up, off the glass. And, and that good. answer is Yes. Man, what a night he's having. Is that 17 for him now? That is 17 points already for C.J. Hines and Ball 10 three. points for Trace Hill. Yeah, that's – we've talked about Hines a lot. Hill, the drive all the way up, give him 12 after the steal. The, the development of Trace Hill, and at this point Trace Hill is, is a known commodity in this league, but he's added to his game in ways that this team absolutely had to have. Like, Trace Hill has become the tough bucket guy. Yeah. Like, and that's that's incredible. Um, and, and really has now become the second leading scorer on this team behind Hines. And ju just his and consistency has been a dramatic impact for them. And consistency is the word because he's a guy that he can, at the end of a ball game, can have 15 to 20 points and – Really, you don't think that he has that many. Right, yeah. It's just been here and there, and he's getting the easy buckets, and he's doing this the, all the little things and yeah. and getting them in, in critical moments. And, well, and we saw, you know, the development of his game because there was a time earlier in his career where he was going to take an open three out of the corner. Yeah. And he wasn't going to shoot a whole lot outside of that. And then you saw him develop more and more. He'd start to go downhill more. He'd start to do more things. Uh, and, and, he, and he became involved in the offense more and more. But then we saw him last week against a tough defense like Missouri Baptist on a night where they locked everything down. Yeah. And he decided, I'm going to put my head down and split a double team and get to the rim and go to the free throw line. And, and he did that consistently and ended up with, I think, 26 that night. Uh, and, and that's been a, I'm at a career high for him, a completely different element to his game and subsequently to this team. Yeah, and a lot of that comes off 
his ball handling has got right. a, a lot better, and he's he's confident with the basketball. He's not going to turn it over. He's just a very smart heads up player, and he's going to take what the defense is given to him. Hines gets it to Hill downhill, left hand, and there it is again. Look, I, and I'm gonna I, I don't want to harp on this point too much, but go back over the last few years, there has been a guy that is going to get to the rim when nothing else is working. Great steal by Garmendia. Garmendia to Hill. Fouled. There's been a guy, it, whether it was C.J. Williamson or it was Jalen Perry or it was Jordan Hamlet, somebody had the ability to get to the rim with regularity when nothing else worked. Yeah. And the, the question coming in was, who's that going to be? Because you know defenses are keying on C.J. Hines. They're yeah. going to try to take C.J. Hines away. Trace Hill's been that guy who can do that now. So you've got two guys who can get to the rim with regularity at this point. And, again, credit C.J. Hines for the development of his game, too, because you, you said defenses are keying in on him. They're trying yeah. to take him away. Now he's gotten the point, if you're going to play up on me, I'm going to the rim. Yes. If you're going to take that step back, I'm going to take the jump shot that you're giving to me. Right. Is, is his development and his his ability to, to see and process the game at this point and, that has been phenomenal. And I want to touch on that, too. You said the word see. His vision yes. and what he's been able to do. The other thing he's added to his game is if you help off somebody, yeah, he's, he's going to find yeah. who you left open. T.J. Williams into the game now for Faulkner. It's 44-29 with two and a half to go. This went from a – of an eight-point game to a 15-point game rather quickly. Bruton Parker needs an answer here. Good no call there. And it's been all off of turnovers from Bruton Parker. Up no good. Rebound T.J. Williams. Got it over to Daniel Garmendia. Garmendia into the lane. Right hand. No rebound. T.J. Williams put back. No rebound taken down. Out of bounds and saved. Into the hand of Ferlin Joseph. Jordan Johnson with the basketball. 18 on the shot clock. Trap coming. In trouble. Good defense. Got to get it out of there. Throws it over. Found the open man. Floats it up. Joseph tipped it in. No. Stays with it. And he's out. Ferlin Joseph stepped on the line. Right thought by Caldwell, but the pass was behind. Joseph just couldn't get there. Tried to tip it up and in, but it's, an in, so it's another turnover for the Barons. C.J. Hines on the basketball. He'll cross the timeline. Sends it over right side, Daniel Garmendia. Garmendia fires it ahead, now left side. Hines, 22 on the shot clock with a minute and a half left in the half. Edmondson to Hill. Hill on the deck with it. An offensive foul called on Trace Hill. And Scott Sanderson wants to know how his he, he didn't have both feet established. And, and I, he's not wrong. He's not wrong on that aspect. Now, I think Hill's going to get called because he lowered the yeah. shoulder there, and I don't I don't mind that for that aspect. But if Sanderson's point is uh, he, the, per, the real estate had not been purchased, then, then yes, he is correct. <laughs> Minute 24. Ball thrown in. Left side. That is Aaron Udell into the ball game now for Bruton Parker, number three. Udell on the ball. Minute 12 to go in the half. Udell pulls it. Missed. Rebound T.J. Williams. Hands off C.J. Hines. Hines into the front court with it. Sends it left or right side. Hill down to Edmondson. Back to Hill again. Hill. Drives, left hand, no, rebound, taken down, coming the other way. That's Emmanuel Green in the lane, can't get it to go. Rebound put back by Ferlin Joseph. He's starting to add him up. He is, Ferlin Joseph, that's six points for him, but he's been impactful as much as anything. He's done a nice job on the, on the boards here and, and really defense inside, and he's an athletic four, three, four man who can really get up and down and run the floor. Absolutely, C.J. Hines. 18 seconds on the shot clock, 25 on the game clock. So a seven and a half second difference right now between shot and game. He bounces ahead to Hill. Hill saw the lane open, took it to the rim, and one. Left hand, Trace Hill. He'll go to the line. 
Hill now with 17 points of his own to go with five rebounds here in the first half. Trace Hill to the line. And Hill, a 75% free throw shooter. 47-31, shot clock is off. Inside 10 seconds remaining in this half. Bruton Parker with the ball, Aaron Udell. Two, one, and a foul call. Did they get Hill? Is they that did. three on him? That's just two. Just two, okay. That'll be one and one here at the end of the half. Still foul that Hill knew he didn't want to pick up in that situation. Kenny Caldwell to the line. Caldwell from Tacoa, Georgia. Six foot four sophomore. Free throw up. And no good. Edmondson rebounds it out to Garmendi, and that'll end the half. Faulkner up 47 31 as we go to half here. Eagles. Shot 50% from the floor in the half. Just an astonishing performance offensively to this juncture. And Bruden Parker has shot 40.6%. I think Scott Sanderson would tell you, yeah, look, the turnovers are good, but our field goal defense yeah. still isn't where we want it to be. He's asking his team, you need to force six to seven more misses per game, and that changes everything. And, and I heard him telling his team the other day, you force six to seven more misses per game, you're talking about winning by 30 versus winning by 10, yeah. and that's what you need to do. And they've struggled. The benchmark for them has always been hold a team under 40% shooting. Yeah. They haven't really been doing that this year, and they're not doing it again tonight. No, they're not. They're right on the cusp, and, and I think a lot of that is if they close out on those threes, and it's really been the three that, it, that has gotten them. They're 5 of 11 from three, 46.5% from three is Bruton Parker. They'll close out a little more on those threes, and that'll bring that percentage down just a little bit. But everything else clicking for the Eagles here tonight. Absolutely. We'll get back with you here in 15 minutes on Fulton Sports Network. Bless the corners of this house and be the lintel blessed. Bless the hearth and every board and each place of rest and every door that opens wide to stranger as to kin and every crystal window pane that lets the starlight in at home, I'm going home for solace and safety home where the world will not break me home, never forsake me, take me.
I don't know if there is anything I like better than good barbecue. Full Moon has the best barbecue and best smoked wings in town, and those onion rings are out of this world. Go buy after the game and use your ticket for a buy one get one free barbecue sandwich. Say hi to Chris in person at 7660 East Chase Parkway or give him a call at 334-676-5999. Will do. Back here live, Tyne Davis Gymnasium, Faulkner University. Faulkner leading Bruden Parker 47 31. And David Turner, we've talked about the scoring combination of Trace Hill and CJ Hines. A combined 35 points in the first half for that duo. Yeah, 35 of 47. You'll take it if you have to. You'd like to see some other guys get some looks here in the second half, kind of spread the scoring out. But Credit those two guys for taking advantage and getting to the rim and, and doing what they did to get this their team the lead here in the first half. Absolutely. So, 25 seconds away from tip. And, look, if you're Bruton Parker, there's a lot of positive things you, you can tell your guys. But the number one thing is take care of the basketball. Yeah, you're that, scoring it efficiently when you have it, but you got to not turn it over. Yeah, you can't turn it over. You've got to take care of the basketball value each possession if you do that you can claw your way back into this game and and at least give yourself an opportunity here at the end the biggest thing for the eagles they've allowed lance smith just two points in that first half one of five shooting again that's their leading score averaging 23 a game three from the corner and again it is knocked down that That time blue Blue, once again 14 points for him yeah left side now that's Trace Hill on the basketball. And a foul call early in this half. Hey, boys, let's not do too much of that, all right? That'll, that'll drag a game down into the deep water quick. Flowing pace is good for basketball. It is good. It's an easier game to play when there's flowing yes. pace, even if some of the fouls are not getting called. There's Hines. Left side. The drive, the kick. Nice pass to Big Zabo, Isaiah Brooks lays it in. 49-34, shout out to Stafford Quinley. Watching, he reaches out, says much love for FSN always. He's watching his good friend Isaiah Brooks and looking forward to seeing him in person, our buddy Stafford Quinley. Quick timeout here, what do you think he saw? 
I think he's just let's clean some stuff up. Uh, that pass inside to Brooks was off target. Brooks had to do a tremendous job just to get his hands on that basketball. He finished it. But I think it's it's just Scott Sanders saying hey, saying, hey, let's let's be precise. Let's execute both ends of the floor and let's put this game away. Right. So and this this is what he talked about the other day that in practice that you're getting leads, you're getting double digit leads. Yeah. But you're you're not shutting down teams, and you're not pulling away and putting teams away, and he wants to see that. And we saw that last time this team was on the floor, start the second half. They went on a run, closed the gap within 10 or less, and then they had to go, you know, again on a run to spread that lead back out. Pass toward the block now, and a steal by Derek Dunnigan. Trace Hill gets it over to C.J. Hines. Hines. Drive through, up off the glass, good. Give him 19 now. Lance Smith over the timeline. Smith, the drive, kicks it out. Buried. Blue again. How about uh, find that man? Yeah. What's he got, 17 now? 17 points. Hines, Brooks, Hill. Leaves it over for Brooks. Drive downhill. Back out to Hines. 12 to shoot now. Hines, Brooks. Eight to shoot. Lost it. Turnover. And right with it. Blue Drive this through and no good, but a foul. This time got the defender to step out on him with the with the threes that he's made. Then once that happens, goes right to the rim. And I think Blue probably a little bit more adept at driving. His when you look at his threes coming into the seat coming into this game tonight, only attempted five of them. But he is—he's hit four of them here this at this evening, and uh, well, listen, really, really been good at it. That's the kind of uh, that's the kind of shooting performance that has coaches changing game plans yeah. up and involving you in them a little more. Absolutely. Scratch that. Not four, but five made threes for Blue here in the in this ball game. Well, now he's at the line. He's at 19 points, and it's a 12-point lead. So. Again, what we talked about, Scott Sanderson wants his team to put teams away. And credit Bruton Parker, they're not going to make it easy. They're not going away. Garmendia turns the corner and gets fouled. That's going to be three fouls on Johnson. Caps family watching. Email comes in from Nathan Caps. Caps family watching from home. All gas, no brakes, go Eagles. Great to hear from you, Nathan. Ball thrown in to Derek Dunnigan. Dining into Garmendia. Garmendia pulls the three. No. Too strong. Rebound taken down by Furlan. Joseph going the other way. Feed to the block. Furlan Joseph with the two-hand chain. All-star with Lance Smith getting to the lane. Almost tripped himself up on the spin, but it actually benefited him because it opened up, it opened up uh, Furlan Joseph there for the dunk in the lane. Listen, we've talked about him a lot, but Ferlin Joseph, native of St. Petersburg, Florida, you've already outlined, like, size, the, the, the vertical, the, the wingspan, yeah. all of the things are there. It's one of those guys that you kind of wonder how many teams missed on him before he ended up where he ended up. And Bruton Parker's a good program and, and is a, a program that's going in the right direction. But a guy like that, if you saw him at the D2, D1 level, you wouldn't bat an eye. You right. 6'6 six, six guy, that kind of length, that yeah. kind of athleticism. Free throw up from Trace Hill. That's, to me, always one of the most interesting stories at this level is how many guys just had somebody miss on them 
Yeah. And then they get here and you see, oh, oh yeah, they, they can play. <laughs> Left side, Lance Smith. Step back, three buried. He averages 23 a game for a reason. And it's down to 10. And Scott Sanderson, not real happy with what he sees out of his team right now. C.J. Hines, layup right hand good. He's at 21. And it, it's all coming from the defensive end for the Eagles. They, they're still getting buckets here on this end, but they're almost trading buckets, and, and they're giving up threes for twos in yeah. a lot of ways. And that Bruden Parker will play that game. Yeah. Lance Smith into the lane, and again, he just cut through three yeah. defenders and no help came. 56-46. That field goal percentage for Bruton Parker going up quick here. Up to 49% at this point. They were at 40.6 at halftime. Hines, a good Brooks, pass. up off glass, good and one. Brooks will go to the line. Put the foul on Emmanuel Green there, his first. Isaiah Brooks to the stripe. Free throw up and good for Isaiah Brooks. Ball will be triggered in by Smith. It's Hatcher back over to Blue. Blue ahead to Hatcher. Hatcher out of the trap to Smith. Smith, nice feed to the baseline. Furlan Joseph again. And again, that was a situation you bring, you bring Brooks up for the help defense. Joseph goes baseline right behind it. Easy dunk for him. Hines that, to Hill. And that puts Joseph in double figures with 10. Tough shot, Trace Hill. He's got 20. Full timeout. Scott Sanderson says, I've seen enough on this defensive end of the floor. And Bruton Parker is six of six from the floor this half. That that is every bit of, of the ground they've made up. Yeah. And what number of those have been threes? Six of six, three of three from three point line. Yeah. So it's it's not the offensive end that that's concerning Scott Sanderson at all. It is very much that defensive end where you get this lead and then after the half you come out here and you let guys get by you. You let easy passes and easy easy dunks come in just from, from you know slow defense or, or a slow rotation, whatever it may be. And it's one thing hearing Scott Sanderson talk, hearing him work with his teams, it all starts on the defensive end of the floor and then comes out of that the work and the effort and that's what he's he's probably talking to him about is that work and effort. You got to have it every time on that end of the floor. And listen, this is if there has been an Achilles heel for Faulkner oh, during this run, not just this year, but during this run, it is we have seen them at times get a lead and sit on it and allow teams to get back in the game or, or sometimes to fall into some bad habits in the yeah. second half with a big lead and. If they're going to take the next step forward as a program, they, they've got to finish. They, it, it's it's the blood in the water go yeah. finish that they've got to do. And and I think that's where they're moving toward, and Scott Sanderson wants to see them do. And we'll see if they can make an adjustment here. 15 minutes left, up 13 right now. That one no good. Rebound taken down Trace Hill. Hill into the front court. To the elbow, step back, no. Rebound, tipped out, and somehow they say it goes off Bruton Parker. There were two white jerseys there, and Faulkner given a gift. It is the holiday season. So the Eagles get a gift on that one. They, they, what's the saying? Don't lick the gift horse in the mouth. Yeah. I don't know why you'd want to lick a horse in the mouth. No, no, don't, <laughs> no, don't look a gift horse there in the mouth. There it is. Definitely don't lick a gift horse. 61-48 is the score. Garmendia will trigger it in. Garmendia gets it in. Hines 
travel. So a turnover for the Eagles. Eight turnovers for the Eagles here on the night. Email comes in from Brooke and Brian and Gracie Hill, cheering on Trace Hill and the entire Eagles team from Hartsell, Alabama. Proud of these guys, so fun to watch. Great to hear from you guys. And an email from the Hines family watching in Georgia as Brooke snatches down the rebound. He said, they say, CJ, congratulations on hitting 1,000 career points from your Atlanta family watching and cheering you on. So great to hear from you guys. 14-20 to go in the half, 61-48 is the score. There's a handoff, Daniel Garmendia. He sends it over the left side. There is a foul going to be on Smith. That is now six fouls on Bruton Parker. The next one has Faulkner shooting free throws the rest of the way. Just two on Smith. Reagan Edmondson in the game. Derek Donegan will check out. Furlan Joseph is out. Chance Hatcher back in the game. Demarcus Johnson in as well. Layup left hand, no good. Demarcus Johnson clears it. Trace Hills had two or three go all the way in and back out tonight. He has. Chance Hatcher. And again, again Bruton Parker hadn't missed a shot this half. Hatcher runs right behind the defense. Nobody picks him up. That's the, as easy a two as Hatcher is going to have. Correction, they've missed two. They were both on the same trip. Bruton Parker just lighting it up. There's Isaiah Brooks, and he's fouled hard. Pick somebody. It was either zero or 24. Who do they like here? They're going to come together and put it on the right player. Twenty-four, and I think that conversation might have been about about was it flagrant, flagrant. Yeah. and and I like the call there. It was not flagrant, you know. No, Brooks was... goes up strong, and and Johnson really got the ball and you know kind of pulled him down, yeah, but not just, flagrant. That's just keeping him from getting an easy two, and that's yeah. going to be four fouls on Johnson. Ferlin Joseph will come back in. Johnson checks out. Johnson unable to get going here tonight because of foul trouble, just two points in limited minutes, only nine minutes played for him tonight. Isaiah Brooks, free throw, good. Ball thrown in to Lance Smith. Smith will go over the timeline. Works right. Kicks it into the corner. No. Rebound. Put back. No. Rebound out of bounds. It'll stay with Bruton Parker. Twelve point game, 13 17 to go, and we've kind of slogged in the pace here with the between the fouls and the turnovers and the ball out of bounds. Elijah Jones will check in momentarily. Blue in the corner. Through. And Foul another call. whistle. Down on Daniel Garmendia. His second foul. Email comes in from Cammie Murphy watching Derek and the Eagles from Dunlap, Tennessee. Great to hear from you. If you're out there, you want to let us know. Tell us who you are, who you are watching for, where you are watching from. Email us fsn at faulkner.edu. That's fsn at faulkner.edu. Layup right hand good for Lance Smith. Timeout taken on the bench. They're going to go full here, and Bruton Parker's got it back within 10. That's that's within striking distance, yeah. the way they're scoring. Yeah, the way that they've played and come out and shot here in the second half, they're thinking, hey, we've got a chance. They've let us back in the ball game, and now we've got an opportunity to kind of execute and go with our pace and our plan and, and still plenty of time for them to cl keep climbing their way in this game. We pause for Sports Network.
13.02 to go. That one picked up by Hatcher. Drive through right hand and a foul. Block on Trace Hill. You got a one-shot trip and went back the other way coming out of a timeout. And that's now three fouls on Trace Hill. Listen, as good as Faulkner looked in the first half, and again, they're still playing pretty well offensively. Um, Bruton Parker's not going away. No. It's back down to nine. It was 17 at one point. And that one's good. It's down to eight. Ball thrown ahead, Edmondson. Back over to Trace Hill. Hill ahead to Edmondson. Trap in the corner. Fires it over to Hines for three. Barry. 65-54. 24 for C.J. Hines. Smith sends it over. There's an answer. It didn't drop. Rebound cleared. Garmendia coming the other way. Back to Hill. Hill looking for help. Finds Reagan Edmondson. Barry! Reagan Edmondson for three. Over the timeline goes Smith. Drive through, right hand up and good. Strong take for Lance Smith. 68-56, there's the hand off the high. Held to two points in the first half, now 13 in the ball game. Hines pulls it, no. Rebound taken down. Going the other way, Furlan Joseph. That one misses, rebound. Coming in the way, Elijah Jones. That was a heat check shot from Blue. He's like, I've only missed two of these tonight. I'm going to put up another one and see what it is. Yeah. Si Mariana Williams is going to give him some tips for shooting in this gym. 11-14 to go. We're under 12. This is the Sports Network. Sell online tickets directly from your school's website. Scan digital or printed tickets with the Hometown Gate app. And get immediate access to ticket revenue with real-time reporting. At no cost to your school. It's that easy to bring touchless ticketing to your hometown. Hometown. Fast scans, happy fans. Eleven fourteen to go here in the uh, second half of this one. Twelve point ball game as Elijah Jones goes to the line. The foul was on Furlan Joseph. Free throw up and good for Elijah Jones. Another one coming for Jones. Seven team fouls on Bruton Parker. That one's good too. 70 to 56. Over the timeline goes Smith. 
Got into Edmondson, good no call, I think. 15 quick points for Smith. And to go along with that, eight assists. Garmendia, three, no, rebound. Lance Smith. And again, here comes Bruton Parker. Lance Smith, he gets buckets. Didn't get that one. A lot of Tyreek Evans to his game. Into the corner, ball fake, drive, puts it up, right hand, no good, rebound taken down. He's got eight assists, so I don't want you to think that the statement I'm going to make is reflective of him as a teammate. He's sharing the ball well. But, like, if you need one versus the world, Lance yeah. Smith has got you. There's a, another. another bucket. Tough drive off the hand of Jordan Johnson, who's checked in the ball game. Ten-point game, ten minutes to go. Number seven team in the country has gotten hit in the mouth here in the second half by Bruton Parker. Trace Hill with the ball. He'll drive, turn the corner, kick it. Garmendi, a three, no. Long rebound, Lance Smith and Elijah Jones tussling for it. And now... Now getting a little testy down there, shoving an attack on Reagan Edmondson. I don't know what Edmondson said, but Smith shoved Edmondson, and Edmondson got the tech. I don't know. I don't know what was said, obviously. But I know that the guy that did the shoving is not the guy that got the tech. Yeah. So either they missed something or what Edmondson said was bad, bad. I don't know. But normally the guy that throws the shot gets the tech. Ball thrown into Hines. Back over to Garmendia. Three. Back to a 13-point game. There's the drive, kick. Missed it, rebound Trace Hill. Bounces ahead, Hines. Now let's check that, because they called the tech, it looked like on 22 Edmondson, did they tech them both? Because Faulkner kept the ball. May have, unless it was. I didn't see him hold up number one. But, I mean, he might have. Did he tech them both? Going back through. It was Lance Smith, technical foul, Reagan Edmondson. So, offsetting foul. Yeah. And I think that's the right yeah, thing that's, to do. Yeah, that's the right call right there. That is the, the right thing to do. Because, I like. That makes sense, and that would explain why they kept the ball. I just never saw him hold up number yeah. one. I only saw him hold up 22. 73-60. And, again, I'm not saying he didn't hold up number one. I'm just saying I ain't see it. Lance Smith now. Working against Edmondson. Pulls it. Barry. Well, that's how you handle that. 18 points now for Smith over the outstretched arms of Edmondson. Garcia into the game in the second half for the first time. C.J. Hines getting a breather. Hill turns the corner downhill. He and Joseph collide. Garcia with the ball. Nice save by Edmondson there. Garcia tough take and a foul. Who are they putting that one on? On 11. That's Jordan Johnson. His fourth. fourth. Wow. Two Bruton Parker players with four fouls. Wow. And more importantly, that's the double bonus now. 73-62. 8.22 to go. Garcia free throw. So Faulkner shooting two for the next eight and a half minutes. Conversation coming together.
Actually, the officials not talking to each other, talking to Lance Smith. You don't see that much. You don't. And Smith's got to be careful. He's already got a tech. Garcia hits it. Smith, too good of a player, too important of a player to yeah. risk. Risk getting a second tech. And it, especially uh, losing just like that on a technical. Yeah. Smith downhill, kicks it, stolen Trace Hill. Garcia. Garcia all the way to the rack, no good. Rebound put back Trace Hill, but a foul. Foul is going to go on Blue before the rebound. Okay. So that will send Jonathan Garcia to the free throw line. I'll be honest on this one. Leonard Epps wants an explanation, and I don't blame him. I didn't – I, I – okay. I'll go back and look at video, and I may be wrong. I just – I didn't think live I saw anything on that. Garcia, free throw, no good. Garcia, nominally a good free throw shooter. Yeah. About 85% misses that first one. That's pretty good. Free throw up and good there. Seventy six sixty two. Smith into the front court. Fires it over right side. That's green with it. Blue to Hatcher. Stolen by Jonathan Garcia. Blue not even looking for the entry pass. Easy steal for Garcia coming back the other way. Faulkner, seven and a half to go. Can burn clock here, and they'll run their offense. There's Brooks to Garmendia. Little weave action here. Hill got hit, no call. Accidentally spiked the ball into Blue's face. Smith comes away with a loose ball. Smith gets to the baseline and gets the foul off of Garmendia. Should be three on Garmendia, I think. It is. Fifth team foul. Smith 74% from the free throw line. 76-62. Smith, again, he averages 23 points a game. And he's working, he's on pace to hit that tonight. It should be 19 for him, is that correct? It's 18. 18. This would be 19 if he makes it. C.J. Hines has been out for a while. He'll check back in. Garcia will check out. Free throw, coming from Smith. Got it, Third or 12 point game now. Hill, back over to Edmondson. Hill with it, long pass, Garmendia. Feeds Hill at the baseline, Hines. Or Hill at the elbow, I apologize, it's late. Lance Smith on the ball now. Again, Bruton Parker a chance to make a run. Hines fouled him. They can get Hines or Hill. If it's Hill, it's, it's four. Yeah. They're they got Hill. Hill. Oh man. That's that's big. I thought Hines got him for sure. Felt like Felt like Hines knocked him into Hill. But Trace Hill's got four. And the question will be, how does Scott Sanderson go away from Hill at all here? And I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know that he can afford to. Not right now. 11-point game. Maybe you tell Trace to 
slow it down offensively. Not pick up one up on the offensive end. Yeah, he's and gonna, they need him defensively. Going to have to be real careful on, on the offensive end of the floor especially. Not to pick up that cheap one. 76-66. There goes Hill. Hines. 18 to shoot. Hines working off screens. Hill. Downhill. Floater off off the glass and good. It's 25 now for Trace Hill. Eight rebounds. My gracious. Trace Hill to the line. Trying to make it 26. If I am not mistaken, that would tie his career high. Rebound, Isaiah Brooks. Gets it back out. Edmondson out of the corner to Hines. Hines on the ball. Edmondson. Three. Hines, no good. Rebound, Hatcher. Yeah, Trace Hill's career high eight days ago. Lance Smith again. I'm telling you. 23 points now, right at his season average when he was two at halftime. And he's doing it against this team. Yeah. Which is big. There's Hines. Turns the corner. Back the other way now. Foul on Emmanuel Green. That's his third. Trace Hill will go to the line when we come back. It's the under six media timeout. I don't know if there's anything I like better than good barbecue. Full Moon has the best barbecue and best smoked wings in town. And those onion rings are out of this world. Go buy after the game and use your ticket for a buy one, get one free barbecue sandwich. Say hi to Chris in person at 7660 East Chase Parkway or give him a call at 334-676-5999. Trace Hill free throw up. One more coming from Hill. That ties the career high. Yep. 27, a new career high for Trace Hill. Again, he hit that career high the last game he played. So here's the last three games for Trace Hill. He hit the 1,000-point club. He got a new career high, and then he got another new career high. And Blue don't care. No, about any of those things. Blue, Blue is not concerned. 22 yeah. points yeah. for Blue. Blue is not concerned about your accolades. Blue is doing his best Sam Mariano Williams impression inside Ty Seriously. Davis and just ripping threes. How about 7 of 11 from the floor, 6 of 9 
from three. 22 for Zaylen Blue. My goodness. Here's the thing now. With him shooting the way he is yeah. and Lance Smith doing what he's doing, you can't help off anybody no, at no. this point. And, and this is the situation you get your point yourself into when you don't put the game away coming out of half. Right. You got to – I mean, you led by 17 yeah. at one point. You know, you got to come out of halftime. You led by 16 coming out of half. You, you got to run that up. And now Bruton Parker, to their credit, they've, they've taken it. Yeah, they have. They, they, and they, they take it again. Blue travels. All right. Blue they, travel because Furlan Joseph ran into him. They made, they made the adjustment from settling for some shots in the first half, and now they are just on the attack. Yeah. And you've seen it. You've seen it starting with Lance Smith. He's getting downhill. That's opening up everything else outside. He's got those nine, ass, eight, nine assists now after that three by Blue. C.J. Hines catches the inbound. We'll bring it back across the timeline. Hand off Trace Hill. There's Daniel Garmendia back over to Hines. Hines, the drive, threw up, right hand, good. Hines, 26. Over the timeline goes Blue. Works it back out. That's Lance Smith. He's got 23. Throws it up. Caught. Ferlin Joseph met at the rim. Daniel Garmini of the block. Joseph back up left hand. Finished it. Man. Give him 12. Hines to Hill. This is a nine-point game that feels like a two-point game. It, it really does, and, and Bruton Parker has done a phenomenal job fighting their way back into, into it in this half, and once they got back in it, they have not relinquished at all. They've not no. backed down. They have not slowed down. No. Listen, we, I mean, we talked about this league is open, and you don't know who is what. Um, Br Bruton Parker is, I, no matter how this turns out, and they're far from, from this game being over with, Bruton Parker has showed a lot tonight about how different of a team they are. They really have. They're, they're physical. They're, they're intense. They're athletic. Rebound taken out for Erlen Joseph. Over the timeline goes Lance Smith. Ten-point game. Sends it to the right. There's Blue again. Oh, my goodness. Ten assists now for Smith. 25 for Zaylen Blue. Thrown ahead of Garmendia. He lost it. Lance Smith. Stepped through. Trace Hill could not get yeah. that foul. He had to get out of the way. Five-point game. The press is set up. Faulkner's the team on its heels right now. Hines lost it. Brooks loses it. Fight on the floor. Foul call. Oh, my. Foul called on Emmanuel Green. Fourth on Green. Oh. That's his fifth. Is that five? That's five. Oh, no, that's five on Emmanuel Green. Wow. Isaiah Brooks to the line. Faulkner up just five. Misses back iron. Bruton Parker shooting 65% in the second half, 45% from three. Isaiah Brooks needs this one to make it a six-point lead. Got it. 84-78. Into the front court. Lance Smith to the right. Kicks it out. Hatcher on the deck with it. Again, Hill has to play conservatively with those four fouls. That jumper misses off the top of the backboard. But it allows Bruton Parker to set up that press again, which has been problematic. There's Reagan Edmondson. 
Trace Hill ahead to C.J. Hines. He loses it. Turnover. Johnson finishes it. Or Yeah, left hand. Yeah. 84-80. Hines into the front court. Bruton Parker all up in the teeth of Faulkner right now. No fear from the Barons against the number seven team in the country on the road. Trace Hill's got 30. For the first time in his career, Trace Hill's got 30. It's 86-80 with 2.23 to go. That feels like an eternity the way Lance Smith and Zaven Blue are playing. It honestly does because Lance Smith is getting downhill quick, trying to push that pace, get inside that lane, make the, def the defenders make a decision, and he's reacting off of it. Lance Smith, step back, three, no. Rebound Hatcher, put back, no. Rebound. Underneath, Garmendia got tied up with Ferlin Joseph. And they got to go foul on Joseph there. Just his third. But they're going to make the walk because of the double bonus. So Garmendia gets to catch his breath and step to the line. Garmini about 67% from the free throw line on the season. Daniel Garmini up and good. Get the big man back in the ball game. Johnson. So Johnson for Johnson there on the sub. 11 out, 24 in. Again, four fouls for Demarcus Johnson. Garmendia misses, rebound, blue. And a foul on Garmendia, that's four on him. Now we walk to the other end of the floor for a one and one opportunity. Wow. Listen. Faulkner is, they're gonna have to finish here. Yeah. Only up seven with blue at the line. But no matter the outcome of this one, the Eagles know they've been in a fight. And here's the thing. When you, when you get that, that big number and, and functionally a small number, yeah. but a, a number with a lot of meaning next to your name, yeah. you're going to get everybody's best shot every night. This and, is what league play is going to look like for them. And you get up by 17 or whatever, Teams aren't just going to roll over no. and give it to you. 87-82, Faulkner got to finish here. Only up five. Edmondson, trap coming. Got to get rid of it. Out of bounds, they'll keep it on this end. 150 to go. Inbound will come from Garmendia to Brooks. Hines into the lane, turn around, right hand won't go. Going the other way is Lance Smith. Smith downhill, kicks it. Hatcher, three, no. Rebound Edmondson. He's got to get it to Hines, and now they'll walk it up. Minute and a half to go in a five point game. That was a huge moment. The biggest miss of the game for yeah, anybody. It, it really was, and the, the ability that the Eagles had of grabbing that rebound and coming the other way with it. Hines, make them foul you. Yeah. To the line. Good Fins. pass. Brooks finishes the assist to C.J. Hines. Seven-point game, three possessions. Massive in a minute game. Lance Smith feeds it right side, Zaven Blue. Blue pulls it off the bounce, buried it again. Zaven Blue, he's got 30. Oh my. 50.9 to go in a four point game, full timeout, Barons. A&P Automotive is family owned and in the same location since 1985. We strive to be your one-stop shop for all your auto needs. You don't have to spend big money for a nice car. 
our prices start at $3,995. We have several lenders and in-house financing available. Visit us online at anpautomotive.com. Zaven Blue stuck it off the bounce to cut it to four points with 50.9 to go. Trace Hill into Garmendia. Back over to Hill. Garmendia nearly lost it. Back to Hill. Got to get it across the timeline. Hill hit, fouled. You got to call it. If not the first one, at least the third one. Yeah. So they got... That they, one's on blue. They got blue, which is just two for him. That's the right. Yeah. If you're Bruton Parker, you'd rather him be yeah. the guy getting called for it. Here's the thing, though. The foul doesn't hurt you there because it the best the he can do is make it a two-possession yeah. game, and it's already a two-possession game. So he can't get it to three possessions. The foul's good. Trace Hill, 31. Go along with eight boards for him tonight. One more coming from Trace Hill. In and out and in again. 91-85. If you're Faulkner, give him a lane. Stay, stay on the arc here. Zaven Blue again. Zaven Blue, 33. Oh, my goodness. You want to talk about hot. There's hot, then there's whatever Zaven Blue is. Nine of 12 from three is Zaven Blue, and the Barons will not go away in Tyne Davis tonight. It's a three-point game, full timeout. Zaylin Blue just lighting it up tonight. Nine out of 12 from three. 10 of 14 from the floor. 33 for him. It's a three-point game with 31 seconds left. Bruton Parker trailed by 16 at halftime. And Faulkner trying to hold on. C.J. Hines to Trace Hill. Hill back to Hines. Across the timeline, just in time. Feeds the corner. Edmondson gets fouled. That's the guy you want if you're Bruton Parker. Hines doesn't have the ball. Yeah. Much rather see the, the true freshman go to the free throw line than C.J. Hines in that situation. No question. And that's not a shot at Edmondson. No. It's just the reality of one dude's in the 1,000-point club and the other dude's a true freshman yeah. who's been here a month and a half. Edmondson free throw, back iron, and then in. Whew. You could feel his heart skip a beat as that ball came off that back iron. It is a four-point game. That's what matters right now, two possessions. Second one's just gravy. Trace Hill fought for it, couldn't get it. There goes Zaylin Blue again, 15 to play. Zaylin Blue for three. He finally missed something. Reagan Edmondson the rebound. He just forced that one a little too quick. Probably could have taken another second, gathered himself, 
or kicked it and gotten a little better look than that. But again, that that that's a freshman. Like he hadn't been in a lot of these moments in his life. Yeah. Thirty six for him, ten of thirteen from three, just an unbelievable performance. Substitutions here for Bruton Parker. Chance Hatcher's out. That's going to get Dane Fisher in the ball game. And also bring back Kenny Caldwell. That's a, f a five-point five point game, game. But That's once again, he can't make it three possessions. You know, you're not dead yet if you're Bruton Parker. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Lance Smith. Smith pulls it. Three. No. Trace Hill, his ninth rebound. That should do it. Trace Hill dribbles it out. And Faulkner survives Bruton Parker tonight. The Barons brought the fight in the second half. In the end, the deficit was too big. They were down 16. Yeah. They could not quite come all the way back from down 16. But, oh, my goodness, you want to talk about the haymakers they threw in the late rounds tonight. Seriously, incredible fight from Bruton Parker. This team is completely different oh, man. Than, than what we've seen. This team – this is this team is for real. Yeah. With what they have, the players that they have, the way that they play, they ain't scared of nobody. Nobody. They came in here and they put up a well of a fight here tonight. And and when you look at that second half that they had, they put up sixty points in the second half. Yeah, it's unbelievable what they what they did here tonight. What they what they managed to accomplish in the second half. And I know, look, there's no moral victories. They wanted to win this ballgame. Right. In the end, the first half was too much for them to overcome. Yeah. But, but you got to know, Coach Epps is looking at his team going, when they come to our place, when they come to our place, we play two halves of basketball, they can't beat us. Yeah. They've got to feel that way with what they did here tonight. It's just – it's unreal what – uh, what you've seen in the transformation in a couple of months for this ball club. And I don't want you to feel like, you know, hey, the, you're, you're talking up Bruton Parker after a loss. No, we're not. We're, we're telling you, you and I, have. we called the Battle of the Beach last week. You and I saw six of the best teams in the country last week. Five of them receiving votes are better. Yeah. One of them who will win their league and be in the field of 64 who, who is that good of a team. Bruton Parker could have played with every team down there. Every team down there and could have beaten teams down there. Yeah. That, like, this is a team that if they put it together, and, and it's still early. They've only played six games. If they put it together, th this is a team who could play with anybody. That, I mean, that was an impressive performance. It really was. And, again, with the length and the athleticism that they have and the playmaking ability that they have with their guards, Smith and Blue – Again, Blue or Smith rather night, like twenty five and twelve assists. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable numbers in a college game to get twelve assists. Yeah. And just the way that it the second half went for them, it was night and day. You look at the first half's numbers, it was forty seven thirty one. Bruton Parker had ten turnovers, led to nineteen points for the Eagles. The rebounding battle was at half. They had 14 rebounds. It was 26-14 rebounding advantage for Faulkner. It ends 41-30 to rebound advantage for Faulkner. But you start looking at some of these other things, the turnovers, 14 for the game, and they had 10 at the half. Yeah. Listen, in the end, the categories that make the difference, Faulkner wins points in the paint 50-36. to What hurt Bruton Parker perhaps more than anything is that Faulkner hit 23 free throws. Yeah. They got to shoot more than 30. Now, some of that is late-game fouling, right. but not a lot of it. Right. So, Faulkner got into the double bonus early and was able to, to shoot 74% from the line tonight, and get and that is a massive difference in this ballgame. It is. But 
And that's part of the frustration for Bruton Parker was that it was fouls and it was free throws making such a big difference for them. In the end, you turned it over 25 times. You can't do that against the number seven team, team, or number seven team in the country on the road. You can't. But if they go back and they take care of the basketball, they don't turn that ball over yeah. the way that they did in particular in the first half. Yeah. Um, what's this game look like in Mount Vernon when they, when you get the rematch? Well, that uh, turnovers led to 24 points for the Eagles on the night. Their advantage is 24-8 in points off turnovers. You've got to think you just stop, get back and stop them from scoring on a couple of those. Yeah. That's the difference in the ball game. That's, and that's it, you know. Um, ultimately, this is a team, and you want to talk about the tenacity. Down 16, could have rolled over. Never did. And, and you can see with the sort of the bulldog play of Smith and Blue, yeah. how that drives the rest of this team. Ferlin Joseph, incredible performance out of him. I, I wonder what Johnson would have looked like without the foul trouble. What yeah. might he have been able yeah. to do? And, and th- this is a team like we're talking about because I, I think this team is – forget the regular season run, and that's important. But come conference tournament, they're going to get somebody. Like, that, that's how good they are. They're going to get somebody. They may get a couple somebodies. Right. They may get three somebodies. Right. Like, they're that good. Now, for Faulkner, because we've been talking a lot about the team that lost the game, some of the team that won the game, Trace Hill, we said it last week, has become the guy that when somebody has to rock the game to sleep, he's, he's that guy. He's got 32 tonight. He – and remember, he played the last seven minutes yeah, of this game four, with four, four fouls. fouls. That's unbelievable. For a guy who plays the way that he plays, he played the last seven minutes of this game, 38 minutes tonight it's, with, in four fouls. It's not even the way that he plays. It's the importance with which he plays. And he's involved in everything both yes. ends of the floor. Yes, and he's going to be one of your primary defenders. Yeah. He's going to be required to do a lot on that end of the floor for you, and for him to go that seven minutes without a foul yeah. and, and being clean and understanding the situation and the circumstances, that's that's huge for Unbelievable. him. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So 32 for him tonight, 26 for C.J. Hines. 10 for Daniel Garmendia, 13 for Isaiah Brooks. For Bruton Parker, Smith had 25. Blue had 33. That's the final number. That it had jumped to 36 on our stats for a moment. But 33, the final number for him. Just an unbelievable performance offensively from those four guards, Hill, Hines, Smith, and Blue. 12 points tonight and nine boards for Ferlin Joseph. Your boy needs a break. I'm not going to talk for a little bit. Um what a win tonight for our camera crew, for Buddy Bags, be our excellent producer, for David Turner. I'm Jeremy Smith. We're back with Faulkner men's basketball broadcast here on the Faulkner Sports Network all the way off on December the 17th. That's the next home game for this team. That will be Dalton State, a noon tip for that one. All right, catch your breath. You guys have a great night. God bless you.